Okay, this is HDRI part two, and I've already swapped out my HDRI. This is probably my favorite one that I have, and I use this quite often. So again, I dropped it down to 0.25 so I can see where the hotspot is. This is my V-Ray Sun. I'm gonna turn it off to, uh, temporarily. I'm gonna drop that down pretty low in the sky and move it over approximately where that sun is coming in. Bring that back up to one. Up here in my environment, I'm going to remove that, turn it off, and let's quickly render that out. Okay, with this scene, I can already tell. Um, unfortunately, when I right mouse click, my pixel information is off the screen, but I'm way high. Um, this is way overexposed. So I used the same camera as the last one, but I need to re. re um, expose the scene so let's let's bring it to 16 hit render and see if that helps okay I'm liking that that's more in the range that I want so now I'm gonna turn on everything and that V-Ray light uh, V-Ray Sun is still turned off I'm gonna hit render Okay, as you can see, it's about done, and I get a way more dramatic um, look and feel to the scene. It is kind of dark, but it is a sunset scene. I'm going to turn that sun back on. It is low in the sky. Enable it. Turn everything back on. Hit render. Okay, it's about done. Um, so I'm not getting as uh, much of an effect from that sun as the higher um, sun, but that's because the sun is behind the building there, and it makes sense. Um, I could increase the, um, you know, add more dust in the air. Let's, let's try. Let's crank that way up. It gives it more of a yellow. Yes, I, I like that. You can definitely see that tints, the orange tint that the sun's giving it. And if you didn't catch part one, I have my color correction turned on. I have this side at 0.6. This side is free. In my preferences, gamma is 2.2. Inputs 2.2. Outputs 1. And in my V-Ray settings, my color mapping, I have linear 111. And I save these out as the uh, V-Ray image and I convert them to an EXR. And I'm going to lighten this up just a tad. I'm going to pull that camera back up. And then let's um, bring the F number to, let's leave it at 16. Let's maybe um, drop that down to 100. Okay, that's looking really good. So, using an HDRI to light a scene and enabling the, or placing in a V-Ray Sun to add the, the contrast to the shadow um, is typically how I illuminate my exterior scenes.